Introducing the Aleutian Transferaminal Lumbar T-Lift 2 Interbody System from K2M, Complex Spine Innovations. The Aleutian T-Lift 2 System offers a full range of bulleted peak interbody devices, disc preparation instruments, and innovative insertion options, including an adjustable inserter which allows for variable angulation of the implant from 0 degrees to 60 degrees in situ. When used with the Serengeti Minimally Invasive Retractor System and the Terranova Minimally Invasive Access System, the Aleutian T-Lift 2 Interbody System is designed to facilitate a minimally invasive transforaminal surgical approach for lumbar interbody fusion. Once the appropriate screw has been selected and inserted, use the MI head adjuster to rotate the retractors and screw saddles into a medial lateral orientation. Attach the blade holder to the retractor distractor blade and insert the blade into the screw heads. Provisionally tighten the set screws into the screw heads using the provisional screwdriver to secure the retractor distractor blade to the spine. For optimal access to the disc space, pull the blade handle laterally and tighten one of the set screws to lock it in place. Next, distract the disc space using the angled distractor. Engage the retractor frame to the quick connect features of the retractor distractor blade and the medial blade. Ratchet the frame to the desired position to sweep the tissue medially over the facet. Place a Gelpi retractor between the Serengeti retractors for cephalad caudal retraction. Using a combination of surgical instruments, perform a facetectomy by boxing out the pars laminar junction. A bayoneted nerve root retractor can be used to mobilize the nerve root and expose the annulus of the disc space. Using a scalpel, a portion of the annulus is removed and a complete discectomy is performed. The Aleutian T-Lift 2 system offers curettes in both straight and bayoneted designs. The bayoneted curettes provide optimal visualization when used with the Terra Nova system. A variety of pituitaries, kerosens, and rasps are also available to help prepare and decorticate the vertebral end plates before inserting the interbody. Trials are available to determine the optimal size of the interbody. Trials have 7 degrees of lordosis and are undersized in height by 0.5 millimeters to allow for a slight press fit of the respective implant. If the trial appears to be too small, gradually increase the size until a secure fit is achieved. There are color-coded bands on the shafts of the trials to indicate the footprint of the corresponding implant. Aleutian T-Lift 2 implants are available in four footprints with heights ranging from 7 to 15 mm in 1 mm increments. There are two inserter options for placing the implant a straight inserter, and an adjustable inserter, which allows for varying implant angulations. If the adjustable inserter is used, insert the adjustable inserter inner shaft through the proximal end of the inserter. Attach the implant to the threaded stud at the distal end and tighten the implant to the inserter by turning the knob of the inner shaft at the proximal end clockwise. A torque limiter in the knob will slip when the implant is securely tightened. The inserter articulates from 0 degrees to 60 degrees by rotating the articulating joint thumb wheel at the proximal end clockwise to aid in maneuvering the implant to the anterior portion of the disc space. Insert the implant into the disc space. Once proper placement is confirmed, disengage the implant by turning the inner shaft knob on the proximal end of the inserter counterclockwise. Completely remove the inner shaft once insertion is complete for cleaning. A variety of pushers are also available to aid in final placement of the interbody. The pushers come in straight, curved, and angled options. Under ideal implant placement, the medial tantalum marker will be aligned with the spinous process in an anterior view, and the posterior markers will form a sideways T in a lateral view. Remove the Gelpi retractors and Terra Nova frame assembly. Retrieve the set screws from the screw housings to release the retractor distractor blade. Use the MI head adjuster to realign the screw heads and Serengeti retractors. 
and then place the Gelpi retractors in the proper position to prepare for rod insertion. Place the rod in the screw heads through the Serengeti retractors and lock it into position using the set screws. Compression and final tightening can then be performed. Finally, use the retractor extractor to remove the Serengeti retractors and perform a standard multi-layer wound closure. The Aleutian Transferaminal Lumbar T-Lift 2 Interbody System from K2M Complex Spine Innovations